I have an interesting story to tell. Uh, being in the software business, you can imagine there's been, you've seen software on the shelves in stores where there's a box, there's a disc, Way back when there were floppy disks and there were DVD. Anyway, there's disks, there's a disk sleeve, there's a manual, there's what's called a shim. That's the cardboard thing that gives the box some, some shape and some structures. The box just doesn't crush. There's supply cards, there's other stuff you put in boxes. There's all these things. There's the product itself, all this stuff. So really, what, you, what, I, wanted, what, I, what I discovered there was we had one person making the disks, we had somebody else making the box, another party making the books, and then they were stored in a warehouse and they'd be assembled by yet somebody else. Now, you can imagine that the problems that can go on here is that, oh, well the book didn't fit one time in the box, or somebody had a problem making the shim and it didn't fit the box just so, or there was problems somewhere else, I had these, all these different people, and we were the ones in the middle coordinating all this stuff, taking the, the hit if, if something wasn't delivered right, if something didn't fit. We lost a whole bunch of books one time because something didn't fit because the spec was wrong with the printer or the printer made a mistake. What I'm driving at here is you want to look for someone who can provide the manufacturing, the fulfillment, if you can. And there's many companies that specialize in manufacturing and logistics. And if you can get them to provide the broadest spectrum of delivery on the manufacturing and everything that goes with it under their one roof and deliver the whole thing for you, that would be ideal. Because you'll pay a little extra because they're going to management do all of it, but you eliminate the headaches. So to me, my software orders became like, like donut orders. I'll take a thousand of those, a hundred thousand of these like that and the whole thing came in so I wasn't trying to coordinate all the production of all this stuff so that said I mean start there look for that see what you can find that's off the shelf already there's catalogs you can buy called Asian sources where things that are already made you can buy them out of a catalog they're already made and you can add these things to your product or service you're not trying to reinvent things from scratch now of course there's going to be unique things that make your product or service unique so you're going to have those but nevertheless I recommend trying to find as much stuff that's off the shelf as possible. Find things that already have like the right kind of, uh, for distribution, you have the right kind of packaging, like you'll see at Costco. They've got these large cards that fit in boxes. You've got to do it a certain way for Costco. But if you can make your packaging work for Costco and work for a zillion other places with little hang tag holders and make these products fit consistent retail packaging, that's very important. Some people want to make everything unique. The product's unique, the packaging's unique, the accounting's unique. You're really going to hurt yourself because you really, as I understand it, I think this is an interesting factoid that I learned from a book one place that said, you only want to be about 10% original. So let's have you part of what you're doing that's original be your actual product or service. How it's packaged, how it's distributed, how everything else goes about it is pretty vanilla. So keep that in mind because this is going to talk to your production efficiencies, it's going to keep your costs down, it's going to demonstrate to your investors that you're a shrewd, that you're a shrewd business uh, uh, manager, that you know how to get the best deals, you know how to deliver this product, you, you know how to plug into the existing distribution that's out there. There's a tremendous amount of infrastructure in our world that's already in place. You need to demonstrate that you know how to use that, benefit from it, leverage it, and make money with it.